Hi folks, Jason here. I've had a couple of requests uh, on how to import animations into Unreal Engine. So in this video, I'm going to be exporting from Maya and also I'm going to be exporting from Mixamo as well. So depending on which approach you're going to be taking, we are going to have a look at both. So without further ado, let's start off with Maya. So we've got the animation that I created the other day in a, from a previous tutorial. I'm just going to stop that now. I'm going to go through to File and go through to where it says Export Selection. Now, before we click on that, it's going to click on the square here. You want to make sure in the Export Selection uh, options that you've got File Type as FBX Format. Also, you want to find, if you don't see that already, where it says File Type uh, Specific Options. Click on that and you'll see Edit Preset. Click on that. And what we want to be looking at is essentially making sure that animation is ticked, but also that uh, an, a bake animation is ticked as well. If you don't see this, on the left-hand side here, you want to make sure that you've got Include uh, selected, and then you should get this drop-down menu here, and it has geometry, animation, bake animation, stuff like that. So once you've got all that set, uh, you don't need to save the preset or anything like that. Just click Close. And we're going to export the selection. I'm going to go through to the desktop. I'm going to look to create a folder. So go to the little symbol here. I'm going to call this uh, Unreal Animation. Or should I say Unreal underscore Animation, just in case we need to drop the folder in there. Hit Enter. Double click on that. And I'm just going to call this, say, uh, Old Man old underscore man and then go export selection so it says nothing is currently correct uh, uh, um, selected so what we're going to do is going to make sure that that's all selected as is in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right click and select all so it selects the mesh and the rig and everything so let's try that again export selection we should be in our folder there so Go to Unreal Animation, Old Underscore Man, Export Selection, and let it do its thing. You can see there it's just doing the animations as well. It's given us a bit of a warning. Uh, complex animation baked. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Just going to minimize that. And I'm going to bring up now um, Unreal Engine. Going to go to import. Let's go and find our folder. Unreal animation. Double click. And there we have our FBX. I'm going to go open. Let's give it a second. Right, so we want to make sure that we've got uh, import animations turned on. Very important. And if that's all looking fine, I'm just going to just see if I can bring that. That's it. There we go. And then we're going to go import all. Give it a second. Okay, you'll probably get an error. Uh, don't worry about that. So we've got our diffuse. So we've got the sort of texture there. And we've got um, the body. So that's the, uh, the material that it's got onto. If I just double click on that now it'll open up the uh, material editor and you can see there. So basically this is where you, if you played around with uh, Unreal, you'll know that this is kind of where, where you need to kind of put all the different types of materials. Cancel that. And you see here we've got the skeletal mesh. So that'll just be the figure just standing. So if I drag that on there now, and I just uh, enlarge that up. It should by rights drop the, um, um, oops, it should by rights have the material on there already but I think it's yeah we can see it there it's just compiling the uh, shaders any minute now it should buy rights there we go so that's all looking good but our character isn't uh, animated so what I'm going to do here is you can see there it says old man anim I'm going to click and hold I'm going to drag that on there like so 
and I'm going to just the um, pivots a little bit off there so I'm just gonna just hold down the middle mouse button and the alt key and just right and let's go and hit play and there we have it it should just basically loop it pretty cool huh and of course if you look at my other videos on uh, also animating the cameras that uh, that will also allow you to do things like tracking shots and things like that okay so that's that done let's now have a look at importing from Mixamo so you may have seen previously I should by rights just have one of the pages open there we go so now we've got the character um, uh, just sort of walking of course you've got a myriad of different types of animations I've decided to kind of put this in place because if I don't put it in place if I turn that off now your animation will have the character just doing that just flipping back and forth and that's going to look a little bit strange in your scene now if it is if that's going to be the length of your scene or for example you did just want to have it in a linear way like actually walking across then of course you can leave it like that but what you can do is perhaps make it a little bit longer and just pull back a little bit there so that would be the length uh, of the uh, scene. You could play around with some of the settings here to do with the uh, arm spacing. And things like overdrive where it just looks a little bit more, uh, a bit quicker. Or you could really take it down. So it's going a lot slower. Anyway, so depending on what you want to do, we could leave it just a little bit like that or leave it, uh, leave it down. Let's leave it like that and uh, we're going to go to download and you want to download it with a skin now the only other time that you you wouldn't download uh, you download without skin is if uh, you're importing the animation and you're putting it into another character that'd be for like things like games but uh, in this instance we're just going to leave it with skin everything else you just need to leave click download let's give it a second okay and we shall save it in uh, unreal animations so i'll just double click walking i might make its own folder actually just in just so it keeps it all separate I'll just call this Mixamo. Click open and we'll save our file in there. Okay, let's go back over into Unreal and let's have a look at importing it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this opportunity just so it doesn't get mixed up. I'm going to right click in the content browser. Got a crazy new folder. I'm going to call this Mixamo. Double click on that and then we'll just go to import. You see there we've got our uh, Mixamo folder. It might be that it's just still downloading, so let's just give it a second. Yeah, I can see it's still downloading there. But once that's done, it should pop in. Almost done. Any minute now. There we go. Bingo. Right. So I'm going to go back to uh, Unreal. Right. Import. Mixamo. And then we'll find our file. Click open. And again, we need to be importing animations. 
and leave everything pretty much as is. And we go to import all. Okay, saying there's a few errors there, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. So you can see there, it's got all the materials. Now that they should by rights be attached. We'll see. If I click on the main material editor there, you'll see now they are all attached. It's got like a whole bunch of things on there. It's got normals on there. It's got glossiness. It's got specular and um, uh, diffuse. Anyway, don't need to worry about that. Now it's just compiling at the moment, so depending on the uh, on the strength of your computer, my my computer is a little bit slow, so um, it might take some time. However, we can still drag the character in there. So again, instead of the static mesh, we're going to go through to walking animation. We'll click and hold, and then drag that in there like so. Scaling tool, so hit R, so something like that, say. We can rotate him and move him back to say somewhere like that. All right, but hopefully, if I just hit F, there we go, it's getting sort of centered. That should by rights uh, compile shortly, and then we'll see the character. There we go. All looking pretty good. And if I now go and hit play, there we go. Let's just hit F11. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to do a uh, another video where we're going to look to render out both in Maya and also in Unreal uh, for those you know who were uh, uh, wanted to know that with the um, regards to the animation. But um, but that's pretty much it. Now the last thing is you will have seen that with our character here, uh, he has the full amount of textures, and with the uh, with our Maya character. Uh, we appear to only have uh, some of it. So we can remedy that, and I'm going to show you that now. So if I just go back to content, and we'll see here, we've got the um, we've got the diffuse, but we don't have the other elements there for our character. Now we can go one of two ways with this. You can either uh, basically borrow or copy the uh, the material from uh, Mixamo, so we could try that. We'll just select it and control and see that, and we'll see if we can copy it that way. And then control and V. Let's just double click on that and see if it's got all of the materials attached. Okay, so they're all there. Then all we'd need to do really is just click and hold, drag that onto our character, and let go. Now that's compiling the shaders, so just give that a second. And there we go, so that's uh, now uh, compiled with the shaders. And I'll just select that, hit F. And should be able to just rotate around and have a look, and that's all looking a lot better. If you wanted to take a more manual approach, of course, what you could do is if I just go back to say Mixamo, of course, in the editor itself, is you can drag these in. So, for example, all of the respective materials are 
connected through these nodes. And essentially what you do is you connect them up. So you connect your diffuse up to the base color, the metallic up to the metallic, and you just drag out from here basically and just drag them in. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, same with the specular, same with the normal. But that is pretty much it, folks. Um, if you've got any uh, further questions about this, uh, by all means, get in touch. And uh, certainly I can uh, help you out in terms of giving you some feedback. Or if anything you're particularly kind of stuck with, you can, uh, you know, um, just get in touch. So, um, but that's pretty much it, really. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. And uh, look out for uh, the other video where I'll be going into looking at exporting from Maya with your animations and also exporting from Unreal with your animations too. So look out for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.